Lying wide awake on a bed next to his new snoring companion, Damus wondered if he did the right thing, taking him under his wing. He felt sorry for the burly shack. It was clear that at some point he had some combat training, but the years of drinking have melted away most of his muscle mass. And some things he said while drunk were pretty dangerous. Telling people he was once noble could only lead to trouble, true or not true. Some people may take offense to that. And they definitely didn't need any attention from the nobility at this point. One thing was clear though. Harem had a proper sense of justice and he was brave. Even though that bravery got him knocked out a couple of times now. But Deimos appreciated someone guarding his back. It reminded him of the good times serving with his fellow samurai. He'll talk to the Shek in the morning try to see if he can instill some subtlety into him. Surely everything is gonna work out just fine. Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to Kenshi 20 Ronin. Welcome back, boys. We are at Stoat. Harem is almost healed and Deimos is of course ready to go. So, uh, today we have a couple of things that I wanted to do. I did say we're gonna buy a house, so let's actually go ahead and buy this residential house. So we have a place where we can store some stuff and things. Now, of course, there is a slight problem with that. Goodbye, friend. Slight problem with that is because we can't store anything yet. We don't have building materials and since we're not buying anything, you know, we can't really get building materials easily. Now, there's a question I wanted to pose to you guys. Is what if, since we've never talked really about how we're gonna get building materials and such for, you know, buildings like this. What if, let's say we send Harem out here, wherever there's mining to be done, let's say this copper resource. And the way we, tr we trade for building materials is he has to mine a bunch of copper, let's say, or iron and whatever, and then trade that in for the building materials at the general shop, let's say. You know, we're not exactly spending cats for it, but we're doing labor to get that. I think that could be a good way to deal with uh, acquiring building materials and such inside of, uh, what's it called, inside of towns. I think that could be an interesting way to go about it. Uh, so you guys let me know what you think about it. But until then, until we know what you guys think about it, uh, what I'm gonna do over here is uh, I'm gonna go and we're gonna drop a bunch of the stuff that we have on us uh, over here because I don't want to carry it carry it with me and we're gonna go over here to Bast because there's a lot of like ruined outposts and hamlets and such and I'm hoping there's gonna be some building materials lying around in the ruins that we can pick up and bring back here and then build stuff with it now of course what we can do is build a campfire so that's you know that's a good start that one's free we can do that now there's also these kits that we could make but that's that's not gonna be here for extended campsite we only need one one of these one building materials to do that uh, we need to research more of that extent oh I pressed escape of course of more of extended campsite because that's pretty good you know for making your own camp sound there Damus can go ahead and he can uh, cook all of this so that's what we can do this is the for now, really the easiest way for us to deposit meat. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just deposit all of this meat so we don't have to carry all of this around with us. Right. We can deposit plenty of meat. Now, we still have a lot of extra stuff that, you know, don't necessarily need to carry with us, especially if you go wanna go out there trying to find building materials. So for now, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna drop like the fog mask on the floor. It should stay here, it should not disappear. Then I'm gonna drop most of these over here, the standard first aid kits. Let them be over there. And while I appreciate the food that we have from these breads and such, I think we're gonna drop some of these as well. You know, just, it's it's a temporary storage. Let's put the rice bowl over here. Look at, look at that, that actually looks pretty cool. I like it. And then let's place down uh, the go hands, which actually look the same as uh, the rice bowl. I'm just I'm just placing them down in different spots so it looks cooler. All right, 
Uh, we'll take the bread with us for food purposes, I guess. And food cube. I guess we can drop the food cube as well. Let's see how that one looks. Okay. That's, that looks like bread as well. Okay, so we're going to take the bread with us. Healing kits. And ammo. And that's about it. Good. Of course, in today's episode, we can recruit another person. And uh, we'll hopefully go around doing that eventually. This for now is private. And it's locked. Nobody goes in there. Okay. Guards. Nobody goes in there. And we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna go towards Bast. And hope that all those... Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Get out of here. <laughs> Jesus. We're gonna hope that all of those ruined places are gonna have something uh, for us. Let's hope so. But for now... No! Stop that! No going back there! Just run in a straight line. I know you wanna stay on the road or something like that. That only you can see, but please don't do that. Okay? Okay. Let's hope we're not gonna meet too many dangerous people out there. Look, guys. You go in the right direction? Roughly. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, but let's let's not meet with the manhunters, because you never know what they're gonna try to do. And I'm not quite ready to fight them. There's a bunch of skimmers sleeping over there. That's their quasi-nest. Don't want to run over those. Even though we're pretty fast, still don't really want to run over those. And look, this this is the place where we can fly. I did see somebody else over here. What do we have out here? Dark Reavers, huh? You know what? These are the guys we could uh, take out with, uh, with some of our stealth action now. I like it. Okay, let's stealth up. Damus, you run ahead. Hiram, you just come over here. Damus can now run at okay speeds actually. Oh, he has nice chances on these guys. That's good. And they don't really have any too good too good stuff on these guys. But you know, if we are looking to get another recruit, this could be some uh, solid gear for us. And otherwise, it's also nice. It's, um, it's also level ups for our assassination skill. It's exactly what we need. We're not gonna take anything off of you. I would love that dust coat and dark leather shirt. Ooh, yeah, definitely want that. That's that's really good. I'm actually gonna take these two things for any new recruit that we get today. Maybe I'll actually give the dust coat to Harem as well. I mean, why not, right? Unfortunately, their weapons are not that good. Dark leather shirts are, though. They are good. They are indeed very good. So, well, if you give one of these to Harem, then this is really all we need right now. So, the rest of you guys, we're just gonna train our assassination a bit more. I think we're not failing. That's a Katan one. Not too bad. Does Dark Leather shirt? Uh, you know what? No, we have two for recruits already. Ooh, that's high grade. Plated Drifter Leather pants. Not bad, but right now that's not really what we want because it lowers your athletics. Uh, and we, we don't want that. None of that. Okay, that one's gonna be a bit tougher. He's the scout leader. 60%. Let's see if he can do it. The absolute madman. He has done it. Malza's orders. Keep a close eye on each faction. Report any suspicious movement immediately. Our hiding place should not be discovered. Maintain supply routes within the United Cities. Should not let them know our supply route. I don't know where their hidden base is. That's something I'm gonna have to find. He has a high grade letter high west. What if we get a hiver? What if we get a hiver? We'll take this. Thank you. Alright. Damus, you've done your job. It's perfect. Hiram, you chill. Let's trade over here. These guys don't know what hit them. You can get rid of that shoddy heart protector. Don't need none of that. You can get rid of the slave trader shirt. Don't need none of that. And these things we're gonna keep. Hell yeah, boys. We're gonna look like Dark Reavers soon. And I don't mind that. Perfect. Alright. Harm and Damus, continue on your way up north. I like it how he talks about it like he wasn't there when it happened. Okay, Damus. Yeah, we all know the Holy Nation is 
Not nice. They roasted the head noble alive in the name of Okran and carted the youngsters off to rebirth. Good thing they must escaped and not have not seen that happen. I hate the nobles as much as the next guy. Harm, you were supposed to be a noble. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, let's see if there's something over here for us. Nothing? <gasps> there's nothing. He probably deserved it. Well, yeah. Maybe. But you know what? I understand that Haram actually hates his fellow nobles because they tried to... They tried to murder him. They tried to assassinate him because he was too good with people. Can't have that. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything over here for us. Let's go check the hamlets and such. We're not gonna go to these ruins because those ruins are not quite ruins. They're actually occupied. And they are scary occupied. So, gotta be careful. Gotta be also careful... With all of these roaming bands out here. There's uh, potential cannibals out here. And we have to be careful about that as well. Oh, there's fighting going on. Yeah, talk about cannibals that can run faster than our boys. I don't like that. I don't like none of that. Blood butchers, Blood butcher tribe, huh? Interesting. Yeah. Not quite sure I like I like what I see over here. These guys are just like, yeah, we're gonna walk past all of these guys fighting. Don't mind us. Now please tell me there's some stuff out here. Doesn't look like it. Alright boys, uh, let's help. Let's help the United Cities. We shouldn't have too many issues. Oh, there's some lag happening. Damus, uh, go in melee. Don't waste the uh, bullets on these guys. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys know who to attack. This is good. Sweet. <laughs> oh, that's, that's it, huh? Well, United States are gonna say thank you for helping us. Yeah, you, you better thank us, because we've done a good job. Now, I know somebody in our, uh, amongst the stories, wanted to be a cannibal. Now, it's going to be a slight problem because I did say, you know, we want to recruit only people that are as low as possible in stats. And uh, these cannibals, the lowest of them have like 20 in stats. So maybe we'll recruit a cannibal at some point way later down the line. I mean, that's not too big of a deal. That's vagrants. They shouldn't really attack us, but you never know. They might decide. Yeah, there's nothing out here. I was hoping there would be something out here in these ruins. So we might have to, you know, do the the other thing that I I was talking about. Oh, there's more fighting. Who are you fighting now? Uh, it's more uh, more cannonballs. Those are actually worse cannonballs. Is there no no building materials out there as well? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so uh, I guess up here is not going to be placed for it, which is unfortunate. You're being seen by who? The guy at the back. That's really unfortunate. Haran, what's your chances? 1%? 12%? 14%? You can outrun them. So, that's a thing. They're all running. Oh, they're gonna go fight a skimmer. Hmm. They must have seen. Yeah, let the skimmer take care of them. That's that's fine with me. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's the holy nation now fighting. Uh, Harem, let's not go this way. Let us not go towards the holy nation. We are not gonna try fighting the holy nation boys quite yet. Uh, for now, we're just gonna be like, hey, we are, we have nothing uh, against you. You're human beings just like us. But if you attack us, we're gonna run as fast as possible. I just wanna see who wins over here. It's interesting to me that this Holy Servant actually stands a bit of a chance. I'm just gonna look at you. Yeah, he's actually dealing damage. This guy has 16 stats and this guy has 30. And he gets attacks in. It's pretty impressive. And he's blocking. Oh 
boy. Yeah, that's... You know what it is? He has a really crappy weapon. They gotta deal with him, but they have a really crappy weapon. I don't wanna uh, fight the Holy Nation quite yet, as I said. So nothing over here, huh? Okay, I guess this was a bust. Now, you guys would say, hey, there is this village over here. Old village that has building materials and such you can get. You would be right, normally. But looks like some of the mods that I have added, I don't know which mod, has changed that thing. And uh, it's it's it looks slightly different. It has been rebuilt. It has like extra walls and such. And there's nothing over there. We basically ran over it in the last episode, but uh, uh, I I didn't I didn't put that into the video because you know there was just nothing really happening. We just ran past it and saw the walls and such. Who is fighting out there? Cannibal hunters. Okay. And we have nomads. Okay, nomads. We're chill with. That's that's okay, nomads. That's okay. You can see there's a lot of activity going on over here. Another group of United Cities boys. And that's the ruined outpost we already checked. So yeah, we're gonna go back into the desert. There's really nothing for us out here. These guys are playing limbs. And you guys would presume you're fighting cannibals, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, good for you. Oh, no. I mean, he could be nice. He could also ask us to... For a bribe. So let's see. Oh, he wants to talk to Harem. Not Damus. Look a little short, short and bodyguard there, Romer. Place is crawling with bandits. Make sure to keep your eyes open. Um. Uh, well, not every anyone can afford the luxury of hired mercs, I guess. I suppose not, but not everyone deserves to meet their end to hungry beasts and the outlines either. Why don't you stick with us a while? You're tracking the United States Dominion. Um. I appreciate your help. You know. They're gonna follow us now for like an hour or so. Yeah. So that's okay. <laughs> they are kind of a bodyguard uh, voice. We don't really need them. We're just gonna run off back towards Stoat. This is not the way to Stoat. God damn it. Just, just go in the straight line. I know you want to follow roads, but go in a straight line. Alright, uh, I have another idea where we could get some some stuff, but it's going to be slightly more dangerous to get there. How's our acid protection? 80%? Just 80%, isn't it? This one is 10% as well, so 90. Ooh, boys, look. Look. That's war. It's war. United Cities, holy... Harem? Got hit in the leg for 100 did somebody shoot you? They shot him. I'm pretty sure. Accidentally. Get away from there. Get away from the fighting. And fix him up. And fix him up, I said. Fix your leg. You're bleeding badly. Don't know what you got shot by, but... That was bad. It was an accidental shot, okay? It's fine. Gotta love these wars, though. Look at all of that! Holy balls on the chopstick. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I mean, the the samurai gonna win, pretty sure. There's a problem though. He's very slow now because you fucking shot him in the leg. Ah, oh, god damn it! He's gonna get shot again over here. Trust me. Just passing through. <laughs> Just passing through. Don't you worry about us. We're gonna go through and this is gonna be a problem. I wonder if it would be faster if Damus carries him. It would be. Harem is at like 8. Damus is at 12. So let's do this. Goodbye. Thanks for your protection. Weirdos. Now we're really not protected because any bandit can actually outrun us now. God damn it. Boys. Look at this. There's a sleeping bag over here. This is a triangle bandit camp. And they have just a sleeping bag out there. Oh, that would be great. Oh, that would be great. Um, let's go over here. Damus, drop him down. 
Harem. You go... That's Traders Guild. Harem, go follow this caravan guard. You should be fine. And Damus is gonna go out there. You guys just don't get into too many trouble, okay? Damus is gonna try to sneak in there. Let's see if he can. Before uh, these nasties can do anything to him. He's gonna try sneaking in there and stealing their... Uh, <laughs> their sleeping bag. That would be a great hit. Okay, he's already seen. Just run in there, dude. Hey, boys. Don't mind me. Just taking your sleeping bag and try it, fish. And then I'm off. Goodbye. Thanks for all the fish. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna go towards uh, that caravan and hope these guys will help us. Perfection. We got ourselves a sleeping bag. That's that's all I could ask for. It's pretty heavy. It's five kilo actually. But uh, that's gonna that's gonna do a lot for us. Who's walking out there? If we can talk. Oh, Shinobi smuggler. No, that's okay. They're still following us. It's fine, Haram. You you do you. We're just gonna go through here. And uh, hope these fools will help us. Come on, aggro them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're going after Haram, actually. Hey! There you go. Okay, perfect. There you go. They're fighting. Haram. You might actually have to fight. They're not very strong. So let's have you fight. Okay. We're gonna have some help. Uh, I wouldn't actually mine some of their spears. They could be pretty solid. Good shot, Damus. Good shot. Let's let's help Harm over there. Don't shoot him in the back, though. Oh, I wasn't paying attention enough. Don't get Harm's leg chopped off. Ooh, nice shot, Damus. What a snipe. And he missed. At least he didn't shoot Harm. I think he might have shot Harem now. Harem, let's uh, do me a favor and step like over here. Well, that's gonna help too much, but let's do it. Oh, nice hit in the back. Good job, boys. Good job, we got this. Harem, nice dodges. Oh, that guy's down. Sweet. Alright, Damus, you shoot some of these guys in the back. There you go, and get yourself... Uh, some skills out that way. Harem, you can start uh, healing yourself. Damus is still sniping out there. Sweet. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go loot these uh, these boys. They mostly won't have anything useful. Mostly. But these ones can be actually uh, acceptable. He is not going to be ready to uh, be stolen from. Are you? Got caught stealing? Actually, he's still bleeding. He's now unconscious. I want this, and I want that. Harem's gonna get the Drifter's Ladder Pens. Now, this thing gives you athletics, right? Which is acceptable. I'm gonna put that over there. Are you over encumbered slightly? Oh, that dust coat must have been much heavier, yeah, than what you previously had. That's okay. Damus, you're doing fine. So yeah, uh, these pens, they have acid protection. And we're going to need acid protection where we're going next. All right, this this is pretty good. Let's continue onwards to Stoat. Harm still can't really run fast. So uh, I guess you go ahead and pick him up. And let's continue on our way. Oh, this guy is still here. Just don't attack us and we're good, okay? Keep on patrolling town. Oh, looks like some vagrants wants to play with us. Oh, that's not nice, you silly boys. We don't have ways to fight you right now. Or we don't really want to. Can't outrun them. So, Damus, put the men down. Harem. I guess we're fighting them. How's your ammo? Not very good. But let's do this. Let's do this, buddy. You can do it. Harem, you, you'll do good, buddy. Just keep on tanking. Damus, you really need to shoot them. 
There you go. That's a good shot. It's going to be a problem where there's going to be 15 of them following you. I know there's just four, but still. Good shooting there. That one's going to go down soon. Now, these bullets should rip through them as long as he can hit them. Because they have... Loading, please. Can't have loading right now when we do this. Because these guys have no uh, armor. So, they should. this guy's going to go down very soon. So, just ignore him. No harm's down. Arm is down. Who's, there's some picking going on over there. Harm, he dealt some damage, which is a pre I appreciate. He might be losing his legs soon. <laughs> it seems. Okay, that other guy bled out now. As was uh, predict predicted. Okay, just uh, make sure you keep on smacking them. This is gonna be a problem on our ammo. And let's hope Harem doesn't bleed out while this is going on. Oh, he's uh, he's up. Harem, please first aid yourself. They must guard this. They must guard this. They took out his legs. Not his legs. Okay, good hit there. Just slow them down. And you're good. They must... You keep shooting, Harem. You keep on first aiding your leg, dude. It's not the time for you to lose your legs quite yet. Okay. He's, he's getting back into the fight now. That's okay. How is your run speed? 15, 16. That one is at 6. Oh, nice hit there. The problem is since we're spreading the damage around. Let's, uh, let's try to take out the Shack first. That was a miss. There's three of you, three of them running into you. How can you miss? Oh, that was that was a good hit. <laughs> oh great, there's more vagrants. Uh, let's swing around over here before those guys spot us. One of them actually did. They must don't miss that, dude. Don't miss any of that. Somebody just ate a human leg. It's probably a dog. Take the shack out, come on. How long before they bleed out? Very soon. Very, very soon. No shooting. No hitting us. There we go, the shack's out. Harem is getting after the other guy. Sweet. Okay, how are you doing? Oh, you're, you're almost out as well. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. He's out. Good shooting, Damus. Good shooting. Harm's got this. Don't you worry about that. Oh, this guy's got shackles on him. No, he doesn't. <laughs> that was uh that was a bolt over there. Alright, easy money. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff. Almost lost all of your bolts, but let's not nitpick. Alright. Damus, what are you doing, dude? What was that pose? Let's grab Harem and let's get out of here. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Thinking back on the last month that he spent traveling in the Great Desert, Jack decided he was quite content to return to civilization and once again enter into the service of his noble master. Freedom might be sweet, but when you have nothing but the rags on your back and you spend every night tossing in your bedroom, wondering if you'll find something to eat in the morning, freedom loses a lot of its appeal. Entering the city of Stoat, he remembered the time when years ago he saved the life of the father of the noble he now served. He was proud of his accomplishments. He was no longer a mere slave, but a trusted bodyguard. But he sensed something has changed. The guards at his master's house were a sigil of a rival noble. The banners were different, and it seemed like somebody tried to scrub dried blood of the front stairs. His worst fears were confirmed as he entered the local bakery. Everyone was talking about it. His master has been assassinated. He felt lost. He had no cats and nowhere to go. But one thing he knew for certain, he needed to find some help and avenge his master. 
Guys, I would like you all to welcome our new recruit. Welcome to the squad, Jack. He's a Hive Soldier drone. Uh, let's take a look at his stats. He does have dexterity at 10, everything else is at 1. So, a perfect, perfect recruit for our squad. Uh, kind of liked your story, dude. It's pretty unique, and you know what? We actually got this uh, leather hive vest. It's almost as I knew it. It didn't, but it's almost as it did. Now, he wanted to have a katana, but right now I'm actually going to give you this triangle horn just, just because. Just because. Okay, welcome to the squad, Jack. Uh, let's have you go... Let's have you go join up here with Haram. Now, how fast are you, Jack? Very slow. So he's gonna need to do some strength training before he is actually very useful to us. And he can go out there uh, with us. Jack, uh, let's have you go into our home. Because we do have some medkits in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have them anymore. Okay, never mind. All that stuff that I dropped on the floor is gone. I mean, every time I drop stuff, it lasts there forever. And now this time around, it all disappears. Uh, well, fair enough. We didn't need it anyway. We didn't need it anyway. Okay. Never mind. Uh, now we know. I'm not gonna drop stuff anymore. So, what I'm gonna do... Uh, Haram's got extra pants, so Jack can get those pants. Those pants... Trust me, they are not gonna disappear. Who wants to bet that? Who wants to bet that they are not gonna disappear? Now, Jack, you're gonna have to wait around here for a bit. Uh, if you need food, there's gonna be food out here. Uh, Haram's gotta heal anyway. And with Damus, we're gonna go on an adventure. Because I do want to get those building materials so we can actually put something in here. I would appreciate that. So, uh, you guys have food over here, so you keep that. Gonna, you don't need to wear that. I'm going to give you this. We don't need three food. We're going to need one. We're going to take one bread with us. That's all. Healing kit, bolts, sleeping bag. I'm hoping Deimos is going to be fast enough to outrun anything that needs to be outran. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna send him down here to the to the Deadlands. So we're gonna first we're gonna run down to the Gray Desert over here, and out here there's uh, there's some ruins, and in those ruins we should be able to get some stuff. I don't know if there's gonna be any building materials, but we're gonna try. That's the closest one I remember really. That's actually out there. So, uh, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. And I think Damus should be fine just running out there on his own. So, let's actually add a squad. Um, I don't know. Han Solo. Damus, you go out there. Jack and Haram, we're gonna do some work over here and gonna train their strength or something like that. So, let's actually do this. Damus has made it down here to the southern way station real fast. It's a good thing that he can run so fast. So this is another place with a ruin. This ruin you can actually buy and, you know, make it into a base. So that might be something we're gonna eventually do, because it's a nice base to, you know, uh, move into Outlands from. But just wanted to pop over here, because next thing Damus is gonna do is gonna go run in here. So I think the ruins are here. And he does have 90% acid protection, so I'm not too worried about him taking too much damage. And uh, he does have boots, so he's not going to be taking any acid uh, damage in his legs, which is which is great. Uh, Jack and Harm are still back home. Jack, in fact, is uh, training his strength by following an officer of the law. I need to get uh, Harm to actually do something similar as well, since now he has been fully rested. Uh, also, Haram's gonna need some food soon, so let's 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 get you over here, buddy. Jack, just be careful not to go into any barracks or something like that. That's something that can happen when you just follow an officer around. You know, they'll go into barracks or something like that. So you take that food. There you go. I knew that you're gonna eat the dry meat. And now we need somebody to carry around. Is there any corpses or anything like that? 
Uh, there's a shinobi thief just walking around. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be the case to be any corpses around here. Which is really sad. You know, what kind of a city is this with no, with no corpses around? So for now, Haram, just train stealth, I guess, by uh, following Jack. Oh, you can't... You can't do that, can you? He can't. Um, all right. Well, what are you gonna do then? Just, just follow Jack. We're gonna go focus back on Damus as he gets uh, out there into the acid rain soon. There is the ruin. Let's hope there's gonna be something good for us. Uh, we have 90% acid protection. Let's see. Okay. We do have one building material, two, don't tell me just two, because we need three. <laughs> we could really use three. Oh man, oh it's bad, unfortunate, take that, I know there's plenty other useful stuff over here that we could take and sell, just two building materials, huh? God damn it. Take the skeleton repair kit. Eventually, we're gonna need it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, what? What else do we take? We can take a bunch more stuff. Now, this is this is the place that we would want to go to uh, get materials to get, you know, things to sell. Mm. I'll take the fabrics. We're gonna need the fabrics for a bed. We need four fabrics for a bed. So, that's a long way to go still. Uh, what else? I guess we can take the power core for uh, trading, so to say. Skeleton repair kit. And we're going to take the other power core as well, I guess. I didn't want to take the copper alloy. Because we're not really going to be using that anytime soon. Okay, um... Anything else? Iron plates are going to be always useful. So, might as well take some of those. Take these. As many as we can carry, I guess. Tools. And other iron, iron plates. And... Yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Let's see if we can store this in such a way that we're not completely over encumbered. He is still fine and running, so. so it's all good. It's all good. Damus, make it back. Onwards to glory. We got some stuff. We didn't really get everything I wanted, but hey, it's a start, right? The man, the myth, the legend has returned. Welcome back, Damus. These two boys were just doing some training over here. Harem was uh, uh, holding that guy. He's at 10 strength now, and so is Jack. They both got 10 strength. Harem got his stealth a bit up. Jack, not quite so much. Let's put this guy down. He was, you know, he's a he's a friendly outlaw that we could we could pick up. So hey, so uh, now that we only have two of these building materials, the thing we wanna really do. People yelling out there. Uh, the thing we really wanna do. Come on, let's just just open this. Is build ourselves a research bench, right? So we could actually research, research some storage and such. And to do that, we need three building materials. Which, of course, we do not have. And it's, it's a slight problem. And we can store stuff in there. We only have two. So what I was thinking of doing is... Damus is going to go build that. Which I appreciate. You guys are going to go help him build that as far as you can uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna trade we're gonna go out there and we're gonna gift the boys over here with one of these power cores for free not sell them for free we're gonna give it to them for free and in exchange we're gonna then buy the building material so first Let's grab the one building material that we can buy off of you. Thank you. And uh, the second thing, we're going to go over here. 
We're gonna loot this, maybe not that. Loot the shop counter, and let's give the one power core. For free. We didn't uh, gain any money from that. We gave that to them for free, and we traded for one building material. I think that's, you know, 3,000. I think that's worth 3,000 for one thing that's worth 100. Easy money, right? I think, uh, I think that should make those guys happy. You guys are gonna help him in a second. And I think we are not breaking any real laws over here. <laughs> or rules that I have uh, established early on. You know, of no buying and such. So I think that that should be okay. So, uh, let's store all of these things in here. All the things that we don't quite necessarily need right now. Uh, tools I'll actually take with me. Could be useful. Now. How brave are we? Are we brave? I think we're brave men. I think we are brave men. Are we ready to do something very dangerous? I think we are. Ooh, Jack. Right. Uh, Damus is gonna have this food with him. Hopefully that's gonna be good enough. Jack, you stored us in here. Let's give this to Damus as well. You just have a heal kit. That makes you 16 run speed. That's really bad, actually. But... Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Actually, let's do this. Let's trade over here. Now, this... Harem is still at 19. It gives him more acid protection. Jack already has acid protection, but gives him run speed of 17 because this thing increases his athletics a bit. So, that's not the worst thing. Uh, Damus, let's grab some more meat. Just so we have some extra. I think that's gonna be good enough. And now we're gonna go do something stupid. Brave, but stupid. We're gonna go... We're we gonna go into the Iron Valleys. Because I wanna see if you can get some really good stuff out of it. So... Um, there's a couple of places we can loot over here. But there is one that is not protected on the inside from any, any Iron Spooters. It is protected on the outside by big things and Iron Spooters. Iron Spooters we can outrun. Big things? Not so much. Unfortunately, we only have one set of tools. I think we might need two set of tools. Two sets of tools. But one might be enough. We'll see. Now everybody run at the same time. And let's go down there. And let's hope it all goes well. It will most likely not go well. But let's try. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're here. Talk to me. Sure. I'm holding. You talk. What you want to know? Yes. Uh, go ahead, buddy. Oh, great. Oh, narcotics. Of course. He's planted that on us. <sighs> what do you want from me, buddy? Uh, smuggling is a serious crime. There you go. We're going to pay you cats. Yep. They just, um, they just took our money. They just took 2k of our cats. They put the narcotics into our bags. And then they extorted us. Classic United Cities. That's the corruption we're fighting against, boys. That's the corruption Damus, Harem, and Jack are fighting against. There's a bounty hunter fighting a rebel farmer hyena. We're gonna help. We're gonna help with that. Damus, go in there, Melly. We're not gonna help. <laughs> uh, we looted this Garu that hyena killed before. Which gave us a bunch of meat. And we're gonna loot this guy as well, which is gonna give us even more meat. Which is perfect. Look at that pose. I love that. I do love that. So now we do have meat. Harem's um, bounty went away as he was sleeping uh, inside the town. From one uh, knockout to another. So this is nothing to worry about out here. Really. Uh, and out here we have... Let me click on one of these guys, please. You're not here. So great. Don't want to meet them. They will want to fight potentially. We're about to do potentially something stupid. There's a bunch of blood raiders over here. There's their camp. But look what I noticed. There's another sleeping bag over here. Oh, I want that. I want that very badly. Very, very badly. Looks like we won't really need to uh, buy them. They're just lying around. So, uh, let's have you guys go sneak. You two go this way. 
Actually, you two, just just run past. We we were passing over here, over the Spine Canyon. So uh, let's have them. Actually, let's run there. And Damus is gonna go in here. Hope he's sneaky enough. Hope he's sneaky enough. He could even loot some of these people. How's your stealth? Looking good, buddy. Okay, grab the sleeping bag. Let's go, boys. Let's go. In and out like a shadow. Nothing good in these boys. Perfect. Is there anything else we'd want? There's some dried fish way out there. It's okay. It's okay. Get out of here, Damus. Jack and Harem are doing just fine. They will be crossing over here. This is a dangerous place to be, but it's a place we have to be. Let's see if these guys have some sleeping bags as well. No. Doesn't appear to be the case. Appear to be the case. There's just a book and a cup. All right. Good stuff. Keep on going out of here. Oh, this this went this went well. This is already a worthwhile trip. We have two sleeping bags on us now. We won't even need to do all kinds of shenanigans to get them. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is good. This is really good. Just avoid those skimmers and we're fine. Out here, we have rebel farmers fighting sand ninjas. This could be worth it. Because there's a lot more rebel farmers. If they could take out this sand ninja, we could loot him. He's going to have some good stuff. But there's no way just these ones can do it. These ones would have to uh, join in as well, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Yeah, we can't take this man out on our own. He's also too fast for me to do a trick with shooting him. Which is unfortunate, because I'm pretty sure these pants and stuff he has would be masterwork and such. So, it would be very much worth it, but hey, I guess we'll let them be. And we're not gonna go loot these rebel farmers, even though they could have some good stuff. We're gonna let them be. We have more important things to do right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go onwards into these lands. Avoid the skimmers as well. But yeah, that's where we're going. Here we go. We are in the Aran Valleys. And we need to get down here. Down, down here. Uh, let's see. Where is this, this outpost? It's somewhere over here or here something like that now usually this would be an okay place to go but i think stronger group combat or kenshi kaizo i think kenshi kaizo actually adds big things into the iron valleys and that that is something we can't deal with right now unfortunately <laughs> so we'll really have to rely on our sneak skills and we all know Jack's sneak skills are not the best. Harms are not the best. Damus could get away with it. But the rest, not really. So let's... Wow. There's already a bunch of them up here. Didn't even notice them. I don't think they should see us down here and go after us. At least I hope not. <laughs> I'm talking about... I'm talking about big things and they're like staring at me. Awesome. Per, like perfection really so we need to go in here and then what are you saying there's a nest here as well there is a nest it's just not occupied okay so we need to go here and then here I think or is it that way I think it might be deeper like I think it's over here ish so, let's see what we can do. Harem doesn't want to join us, but let's see what we can do. Well, this is this is fine. <laughs> Just hunted by some iron spiders while swimming in the acid. Yeah, these two guys took some damage. Uh, I was mistaken. I thought it's more up here, but it's down here, actually. You know what? Uh, first time using this map. Still, yeah, still need to get used to it. But there it is. Uh, now that we're on dry land, we shouldn't have any issues outrunning those things. Just need to be careful not to run into beakers. That's still the only thing we have to be careful of. Now this thing, we have no chance unlocking. 
So the question is, do we use our tools to unlock that? Or do we bash that in and then save the tools for unlocking the safe? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to bash this one in and save the tools to unlock the safe that's in here. Because I, I know we stand no chance unlocking that safe because it's, it's a pretty tough one. Uh, you need really high level skill to do that. So let's smash the doors. It's going to take us a while. We're going to hope that nobody uh, pops around while we do this. All right, we're through. Let's go in here, boys. Good. That one, empty. There's nothing over here. There's nobody that would hurt us. Uh, unfortunately, now that we smashed the doors, we can't really uh, do anything about it. Can we, can we actually repair it? We can actually repair it. Yeah, but we, we can't, we can't close it. I don't think. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... Harem, you take the sleeping bag. Put it up here. He's gonna go camp over here. Harem, you build that and he's gonna go to sleep over there. And this is the big one. On this one, we're gonna use tools, but the rest, we're gonna just go loot. We're gonna have to be careful what we take, but hey. Now you can close them. Oh, perfect. Uh, keep on repairing. No, no. No, no. Close. Thank you. Okay. There you go. We are in. Nobody can see us now. You sleep over there. I feel safe-ish now that we're like this. And now we can go uh, see what kind of good loot we have out here. Of course, there's gonna have to do some lock picking, but hey, oh, there's books over here that we can use for research, which is perfect start. That's that's indeed perfect start. Let's see, we got a Mark III Moonsicle. Of course, unfortunately, we won't be able to carry too much out of here because because of the restrictions that we have on weight. But I'll take whatever I can. This one's probably gonna take a while, but hey. Oh, nice, a masterwork arm. Pretty heavy, but uh, we'll we'll take it. You can't leave that thing behind. Uh, also, let me save before we take the money. Okay, didn't uh, didn't break on us or anything like that. Nothing in there. We got Katan one, Katan two. Uh, we'll probably not be able to take uh, that with us, but hey, definitely want the books so we can do some research. So oh, there's building materials over here. Edge type 1 tenderizer, a heavy weapon, 28 kilos. Who can carry that? Nobody really. <laughs> Fortunately, as I said, we can always come back here. We can always come back here and get more of this stuff. Namus, why would you open the door, dude? Jack, close the doors, please. And continue repairing. Namus, don't open the door, dude. That's really not necessary. All right, that thing has just fuel, so. Not worth it, besides for the fact that we got some uh, lockpicking skill. Really nothing in here. Well, that's disappointing. This would be steel bars, very useful things, but can't carry. Gotta get those priorities, you know? Uh, sure, let's take the three cats. Why not? Nothing. Uh, okay, yeah. Mark 1 Ninja Blade. I'll leave this thing behind and you switch to that. That's acceptable. What else? These things would be worth some money, but for now we can't really carry them back home. We are here for weapons and armor. That's truly what we're here for. For some weapon and armor upgrades. And so far... I mean, there's an edge type 1 thing out there. It's just uh, not exactly the edge type 1 thing we'd want. Because that heavy weapon thing doesn't really help us at all right now. Okay. Yeah, that's that's really good. That's that's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. You take this katana. Uh, this is 6 kilos. This is 7 kilos. I'll leave this horse chopper behind. Okay, hot him. You got yourself a new weapon, buddy. It's an Edge Type 1 Hold Saber. Can't say no to that, huh? Can't say no to that. Let's go get you back in bed. Any food? No. Okay, that one's... Uh, 
Not empty. These two are usually empty, so we're actually really lucky right now. It's a large hammer. Wow, I've never seen this weapon, but I like it. It's used to crush the enemy. It's too heavy and destroys armor easily. If powerless weapon person uses it, he'll be killed by own weapons. Um, I don't know about that description, but hey, uh, we're not gonna take it. But I want to see how it looks. All right, looks pretty cool. Leave it behind. It's too heavy, unfortunately. Give this thing to Harem as a secondary. For now. Jack is gonna need a better secondary. Actually, we did... Uh, Damus. Did... Where did I... Where did I put that katana of yours? Here, right? We're gonna give that Jack. Where did I put that katana? Did I just drop it on the floor? Um, did I put it in one of these? I think I put it into one of these, actually. It's fine. He's still repairing the gates. Wow, we have really done some damage. Yeah, there it is. We're gonna give this to Jack. We're gonna give this to Jack. Okay. Jack, throw that away. Have that as a secondary. And I think we're gonna give you either Kakara... We give you this moon sickle. This moon sickle is pretty cool. Gives you a huge attack bonus. Defense, not so very much, but I think that's the one you're gonna go with. And drop that thing on the floor. Okay. Now there's only one thing left to do. What? You have tools, dude. Don't, don't you scare me. Don't you scare me. Let's go. This is gonna take a long time. But let's do this. Alright boys, the moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Edge type 1, 4 and Saber. Oh. <laughs> this is so good. I love me a 4 and Saber. It's one of my favorite weapons. Oh, this is so good. Okay, we're gonna give this one to Jack, I guess. Because Harem got himself an Edge type 1 Hold Saber. So, uh... Jack, I guess you don't get the to keep the Moon Sickle. I mean, you get to keep it, but... Uh, you also get this thing first. Look at that. The man, the myth, the legend. Let's see how's your run speed, boys. So, Haram is carrying a bit too much. So, he's gonna have to give something to Damus. He's also carrying a bit too much. But we want to take uh, that Leviathan thing with us. Jack is fine. Jack can still take a killer or two. Let's give this to Jack. Jack is fine, and now you are fine. Maybe Jack can even carry this. Sure. Namus is fine as well. Okay. Uh, there is... Hey. Jack. <laughs> Let him through. There was... Uh, what was there? Katan 3. What if we'd rather take this one? Seven kilos, seven kilos. Let's take the pole arm. It's a bit better uh, thing, but hey. Unfortunately, we can't take this bad boy. We can't take the tenderizer. Although these guys run at 18, so I guess we can't take we can take the tenderizer, and if needed, we can drop it to run away. Awesome. All right, the boys are ready to go home. We got some good stuff. We got some really good weapons. As it. As it's tradition, we get good weapons and then we smack everything. And now we have to get back home through all the big things. But that's gonna have to wait for the next episode for now. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. I do hope you guys liked what we did out here. How we went to scavenge in a very dangerous land and we got some really good stuff out of it. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the notification bell below if you'd like to see more from me. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for now. Keep on writing stories. Go around.